with robotics and AI taking over in recent um, in the recent um, past, um, will this continue more into the future? And um, what is the future of data science for the next five to ten years? Yeah, that's a, that's an excellent question. And um, if I knew the answer to that, I'd probably be winning all sorts of Turing awards and that. And, and the short answer is, I don't know what the future of data science holds. But what I can tell you is, as a machine learning model will do, I'll look at the past and try and predict the future of the past. And the future and and the, the, the recent trends are telling me that we are going to see an increasing adoption of, of AI. Um, we're going to see uh, an increasing amount of, of regulation around trying to control uh, the pros and cons of, of machine learning and AI in the, in, uh, in the economy. Uh, we're going to see more jobs for data scientists, more jobs for data analysts, more jobs for anyone working in the, in the data sphere, really. And we will probably see a sort of continual up, upward trend until some exceptional development happens in AI. And when you see these little exceptional developments, you're really going to see what I would call a step change in the performance and the interest around AI. And these step, change, step changes are incredibly hard to predict. They're almost like evolutionary step changes when, you know, dinosaurs become mammals or something like that. Like you can't tell in advance when that's going to happen. But we've had in the last uh, five years, maybe um, two of those, certainly in my area and in, in natural language processing, an area I'm really interested in, we had the, the rise of the transformer architecture. And the transformer architecture has revolutionized the performance of um, of not just natural language processing, but also uh, machine learning problems in general. So when you see a step change like, like transformers coming in, then suddenly you get a lot of hype around the, the sector, a lot more investment in the sector and, and sort of these short-term bubbles. So I would say to summarize, more of the same, more data, more data science jobs, more investment, more regulation, and then the possibility for some step change with a kind of associated bubble in investment and hype around, around ML. and. I will go out on a limb and say, definitely not artificial general intelligence. There's going to be no terminators on your doorsteps in the next five years, but maybe 50. <laughs>